Once again, welcome back. If you have started your blogging journey and if you are thinking that you have done everything correct but still your website is not ranking, you are not getting any sort of attraction from a Google, then the major culprit is your website loading speed. Other than content quality, if, if you think like you have written everything correct but your website loading speed is very poor, then my friend, your website will never get any sort of an advantage. The reason is Google love to rank those website which is having a at least on an average four to five second loading speed so that better user engagement. If your website is unable to open in that duration, ultimately you will not get any advantage having your own website. So in this session, which is going to be the first video of to improve your website loading speed and this specific section, first I will talk about how exactly you can identify what is the issue with your website in terms of website loading speed? And what are the couple of things Google check with your website while making a decisions to rank or not? So that will be the first objective of this session as well as I will give you brief overview on how exactly you can improve your website loading speed simply implementing couple of basic checks without any technical knowledge. So stay with me. Hey guys, my name is Kirti Shwiyas from Blogging Voice and SupremeCampus.com. On this channel, we talk about how to grow with blogging, YouTube and affiliate marketing so that in overall with digital marketing, you can earn passive income. So don't forget to subscribe, like and share this channel with as many friends as you have. This is going to give me the motivation. Without wasting time, let's jump onto the screen and let's talk about the core web vital issues and how exactly you can fix them. Here we are on the screen. So. When it comes to website loading speed, we have two things to discuss in this session. That's why I'm telling like, first I will talk about what are the possible issues, then I will talk about the possible fixes. So stay with me till then, otherwise you will miss the major part, which is going to ruin your uh, blogging journey, okay? Now, first of all, how exactly you can find out whether there is an issue with your website loading speed or not. Lot many people will say these and that, but I will tell you there is only one way start using a tool called GT Matrix, which is totally or 100% free. Just take an example. This is my website called soundprofidea.com. What you have to do is you have to copy that tool, go to the site called GT Matrix and to the search window, just enter that website and click to test your site. Once time, when you will be hitting it, if you found like it's showing a lot of, uh, I mean, website loading time, then what you can do is you can retest it because sometimes there might be certain issue in terms of the ad loading to your website. This cause maybe the loading speed will show too high. So try to retest it two to three times so you will find a good statistics. Then you have to go further what I'm going to discuss in this session. So let's wait. It will hardly take 15 to 30 seconds. It's going to scan your website, trying to connect with your server and see how much is the response time and everything. So this is the only tool which I would recommend to find out if there is any issue with your website or not. So let's see what, what state shows to us. So here you can see on the screen, just now all the stats for this specific website has been loaded. Where you can see here, here LCP is 1.7 second, a TBT is 139 millisecond and CLS is 0.31 second. And these are the three matrices which Google has introduced to ensure your website is loading quickly or not. So when it comes to this number, what exactly the meaning of LCP, TBT and CLS? That's what the point of this session. Well, in the next session, I will talk about in detail how to fix this issue but even in this session also i will talk about little bit in a brief okay so first of all lcp lcp means largest content painful you can think of whenever you will be loading your particular page or a website page then what is the largest content of that page in my case this is a full large image so how long this website took to load this complete image that's known as a lcp okay so this is the critical point if this is taking a lot of time, obviously to load your website for that user also will take a lot of time. In my case, you can see it's just 1.7 second. Well, what you have to do is if your LCP score is less than three to four seconds, that means you are in a good condition. But if it is more than four seconds, you are almost losing what I must say, uh, your website loading speed. To understand more on this one, I will provide a guide which I have detailed uh, written on my site bloggingos.com. You can find link down below how to improve and how exactly you can read all those matrices, okay? So the number one point, you got it. It is a LCP called largest content painful. That means the largest part of your website which takes, uh, which how, how much time it takes to load. That time will count it here. 
Number two, which is a CLS. Okay, we'll talk about this later. Number two, which is a CLS, which we call a cumulative layout shift. What does it mean? Let's take an example. If you go to Soundproof Idea, if you try to open this particular site, then what happens is when the content will start loading for that user, earlier there was no ad out here and then suddenly while user trying to scroll down there in the middle of a content automatically ads will appear that means the content will be shipped here and there because ad will start displaying in the middle which was not there initially when the user landed on that page that is called a cumulative layout shift that means the shift in the layout when user try to read something and you might have experienced that you try to click this and suddenly ad will come out there and you accidentally click to something which you never wanted okay so that's called a CLS, which Google also tracking that how much CLS is happening with your website. Now, the third one is a TBT. Okay, TBT, when you go to the GT matrix, TBT is basically they have given here, just take an example as well. But for the Google reference, it is known as a FID, first input delay. What does it mean? Imagine if you go to Soundproof Idea and then after you click to any particular link, let's say you will be clicking to this link. So after clicking, how much time it took to respond me? That means how much time it took to go to this website or how much time it took to open that in a new window, that's not at a no known as a first input delay just take an example if you go to the home page on home page if you found a button on that button if you will click then once you will click it how long it took to start uh, uh, searching for that let's take an example if i'll be clicking it it instantly uh, i mean responded me like it started finding out that detail so how much time it took when i click it and when it started finding out that's called as a first input delay so ideally this data none of the automated tool can find out that's why google take the reference of a live user data when the user will go to your website how much time it takes to click and everything but this kind of third party tool even will help you to understand how much your site is taking in order to download all the javascript and everything okay so basically these are the three matrices google is checking lcp which is what we call fid and this is what we call a cls and if this whole score is under the range where the performance is looks good if your website is loading within three to four seconds you don't have to do any more experiment okay that is how you will be finding out if there is any issue with your website or the another ways just open your website in your mobile and try to open that all those pages and everything if it is taking more than four to five seconds that means there is a serious issue so now how to fix that serious issue in case you have let's discuss about that in a little bit brief okay for that there is a couple of things you have to check which are the primary reasons you are going to make your website and that's why these are the only culprit of your website which cause your website loading speed down so number one is what we call hosting most of the times you buy some cheap class hosting which is not even recommended by a wordpress and you are setting up your wordpress website on top of that because of that it taking a lot of time to connect with the server respond back and everything if you really wanted to know i was checking the wordpress.org which is the official website of a wordpress there are a couple of recommended hosting out of that bluehost is the one i personally used uh, and i have been using for more than two to three websites and when i was checking their pricing plan and everything specifically in india there is a lot of different plans you can see here there is a hosting and there is a shared hosting so you don't have to buy any different class of a hosting so you can go with the shared hosting and under a shared hosting they were different different plans if you'll be going there you will be getting here a server location for us or india so remember most of the times if your site will be very heavy it will have a 4000 5000 blog post then this server location will matter because what happens is once the user will try to click it that request will go to the server if your maximum traffic is coming from a us and if your server location itself in the usa then obviously they will get a quick response back so accordingly you can choose the server and i I must say like Bluehost will not charge you anything extra. Even server location will be optional for you. You want, you can choose yourself, okay? And then after there is a plus plan and the best part is you will get here a domain for a one year itself, okay? So you can start with a Bluehost and uh, as long, uh, I mean, whatever the money you have accordingly, you can purchase their best plan. I will provide a link down below. That will be my affiliate link. But if you really wanted to appreciate this channel and this value, then you can definitely go with that. Okay, so you can start with a reliable hosting, which has been recommended by WordPress and a lot many other people are actually using it. That's going to make sure your website loading speed will not be impacted. Okay, just understand the importance of hosting because no matter what I'm going to share with you in the next couple of four or five minutes, that will never work for you 
if your base build of your website itself is totally totally wrong now once you'll be making a purchase of this hosting if you would like to claim a special offer from me which is kind of a dollar 326 uh, special offer then you can go to this particular site and just share your invoice copy receipt with me okay uh, just go to this page all these bonuses are already listed you can go through that and there is a link for google form simply fill your google form uh, along with this screenshot of your purchase and i will send you all these bonuses what you can see on this page so that's the additional advantage you will get so that you will also get well optimized WordPress theme for a free which is also going to help you in terms of website loading speed got it so number one step you have to do is that part now how to customize your website how to set up your website inside a Bluehost and everything I will provide those two video down below so follow that process and you'll be ready specifically with the skeletal of your website or the structure of your website clear let's go to the second chair Sec second check is maximum issue is with your plugin and images okay i mean you might have seen lot many plugins you are using within your wordpress blog okay and that cause it takes a lot of time to load your website the, another one is the lot of images which you don't compress which are heavy sizes image when you upload to your website again this takes a lot of time to load so how to find out like what are the plugins causing issue what are the images causing issue for that you have to go to the gt matrix and then after you can go to that performance area structured area waterfall this is the area where you have to go and then after you can see are all those list of plugin which which are taking a lot of time for your website to load okay just take an example if i'll be going to the images out of all these images there is only one image which this one is taking 278 millisecond sometimes what happens is if any other image which is taking longer than one or two second of time then what you can do is you can simply click to that you can see open that image and what is that image go to your blog just download that image and then after compress that image and upload it back to your website let's say this is the culprit of your website just download that image compress that particular image and re-upload to your website likewise you have to optimize all the images and you can get it from this waterfall statistics same applies to the plugin for plugin you can go to the css area and there is a lot of css let's say there is a plugin called social snap on my website you can see here which plugin is taking how long for to, to load my website there is this plugin there is another plugin so you can see a lot of data inside the statistics which you accordingly can find out so let's say if i will scroll down in my case everything is well optimized so i cannot see any issue out here but let's take an example there is a plugin called header footer code manager if it is taking more than three seconds four seconds of time to get it loaded what i will be doing is i will ensure that whether this plugin is needed for my website or not if it is not needed then ultimately i will remove it or try to optimize that plugin using its alternative method so likewise you have to find out those plugin and images which cause issue so that you can fix them okay so this is another bigger check you can do with the help of gt matrix now the third which is most important is the ad on your website let's take an example this is the ad of my website okay if you will be utilizing uh, using google adsense or any different ad network which is pushing a javascript whenever you will be uh, asking them to load a website uh, ad at that moment this causes a lot of time to load those images and that's how your website loading speed will increase so what you can do is you can utilize other alternative instead of google adsense and what is the other alternative which i personally using is a ezoic ezoic is an artificial intelligence which actually maximize your ad revenue as well also help you to optimize your website advertisement to improve the website loading speed as well okay so these are the couple of checks in the beginning you can do after going through this session one is make sure you are using a reliable hosting if you purchase a cheaper hosting then nothing will work no matter how much improvement you will do in the future second one is a remove the plugin which are unnecessary which you are not using and taking a lot of time or just try to find out their alternative third one is compress the image quality and fourth one is make sure you optimize all the ads whatever you are placing on top of your website got it so likewise you should be able to find out the issue and you can go with the initial check if you want me to make a detailed video on how to fix the website loading issue step by step which plugin to use to compress the images and everything comment down below maybe the next video i'll be creating which will be all around those things where one video for each sort of an optimization hopefully you enjoyed in this session if you wanted to start your blogging journey you can start with the bluehost i will provide a link down below and you can start with me and i'm going to help you everything step by step how you can grow in this blogging journey so if you love this content make sure you subscribe to the channel comment down below and let me know in the next session 
whether you like it or not and what is the next content you are looking for me to create on this channel. Thank you very much for being part on this channel.